Today, Precarious plays Zone of the Enders. We did it. We got rapper. We get, rapper control. Yeah, our <laughs> rapper control module. We obtained a rapper control module. Now you can drop the sickest of beats. <laughs> and then Jehudi, you, she warps in a six set of. Uh, by energy fields. Just the basiest of, of uh, speaker systems. Mm. I was gonna so, say that this is how MC Front was invented, with the rapper control module. Stray shots. Those raptors which have fought against Jehuti are mm. therefore not suitable. You mean we must find a raptor which is undamaged and fully functional? We must. Mm, I think I saw one somewhere. Oh, game. You better give me a little more to go on than that. Uh, if you aren't able to find an area. <laughs> I hate that. That is the most obnoxious non hint. I've read in a game in a long time. Oh man, that's poetry. This needs to be on an inspirational poster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> like with like a really, really clean picture of a magnifying glass. Uh, no, I think it should just be Jehudi. <laughs> and that, just that's it. <laughs> just Jehudi. Jehudi looking stern. Is Jehudi the big word or what's the big word? Let me, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe the big thing should just be, like, find stuff you need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can't find it here, go someplace where yeah. you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. We were actually talking ah. about visuals the last time we recorded. And, uh, we were talking about how awesome this game is for taking advantage of all of the stuff that looked good in this area, in this era of video gaming to make its shit look hot, you know? Like with all the shiny stuff and the light effects and all of the angles and basically everything that looks good on a robot part. And, uh, it got me thinking about one thing that I used to love! Love to death, and uh, it was actually my dad who got me interested in this concept. When I was a little babu, computer graphics, like computer-generated graphics, were an entirely new field. Like, they straight up didn't exist when I was born, or at the very least, barely existed. So, my dad, being kind of into computers and a little bit nerdy and all of that stuff, was like, look, look at this little child. They can make the pretties with the computrons. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> pretties with the computrons? That sounds amazing. And he was like, yeah, this is Pong. It doesn't look good. Yeah, this is a fish swimming in 3D. Check that shit out. And I was like, oh, this is much better. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Like, the, the perfect example of, like, the type of stuff that... <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. Just I'm imagining a situation where someone sees Pong and they're like, That's amazing! That's really good! But deep inside they know it's not, so it's, <laughs> seconds later someone is like, And look at this fish! And they're like, Oh, thank God! <laughs> oh. I thought that we had peaked. I thought we had peaked at Pong. I mean, Pong's cool and all, but, you know... I Wait. like having more tools to I work think, with. I think that was supposed to be a clue. She said, I think I saw some... I think I saw one somewhere. I think we... Where did we pick her up? I'm gonna guess town two. But I don't I don't exactly remember if that's the case. Ugh, I hate guessing and looking around a map when it's like a boring ass map. You know? Like we've been to all these places, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, well, I have I have the perfect example of, like, how my mind was opened to the idea of, like, three-dimensional computer-generated graphics. Mm -hmm. Like, my dad talked about it like it was, like, really, really cool. Because you have to think that it just didn't exist for him his whole life. For me, you know, it, it kind of did, or at least the idea did. He was like, you can make pictures with the computer in three dimensions. And I was like, okay. 
You know, because I was young and small and moldable. Malleable, bouncy and stretchy, you know. Like, like children's are. Like all good babes are, yeah. Like all good babies are. And, uh... I remember I got kind of obsessed with this one weird CG movie. It was called Odyssey into the Mind's Eye, and I looked it up on YouTube, and apparently it came out in, like, 97. And I went back and watched it a little bit just before we started recording because I was feeling very nostalgic, and it is just so cool. <laughs> I just want you guys to know how cool it is. Everybody needs to watch part of it just to understand... <laughs> How, like, cheesy and beautiful. Like, there are, like, three-dimensional dolphins swimming around, and, like, there's all these, like, shiny, oily water lava lamp type effects, and, like, it was, like, the best of the best. Uh, it was so good that it, I actually... My dad showed it to me, and then later, like, a year or two later, in elementary school, our art teacher showed it to us. Like, as one of those nice, like, art teacher gets to, you know, work off the hangover type of days where everybody, all the kids watch a movie. <laughs> and, and it was, like, good enough to be, like, shown at school to a bunch of, you know, littles. And there aren't, like, I don't think there's a lot or any dialogue, really. Just music and shapes moving around, and it is like a perfect example of what what was possible at that time. And it is just it's just one of my favorite freaking things, and it's real cheesy, but it's super nice. I would like to give this game right now a couple of, just a little a little couple of scooshes, a little a little itty bit of bit of credit. Mm-hmm. The load times are very bearable. Mm -hmm. You can skip all of the, the cutscenes, the transitional cutscenes. Mm -hmm. And Jehudi is very fast on a relatively small overworld map. Mm -hmm. That said, I believe that this concludes the world tour. Uh. And I didn't find the thing that I was looking for. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I missed one. Well, here, let's look at the advice section again. The advice section, the one that says if you're unable to find an, an area. I mean, clear. You're una wait, hold on. If you're unable to find an area in one location, go someplace else where you can. I don't think I read that correctly before. That's nonsense. <laughs> well, you clearly are on, on the step of go someplace else where you can. Did you say that weirdly on purpose? Because no, you succeeded. that's oh. what it says. Go someplace else where you can. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I I really feel like I just went to all of these. Go to the church. Go to the church that burnt down. I thought I did. Found something. Church something. It was a church, right? Or an orphanage shaped like a church, or maybe a church shaped like an orphanage. Look, bro, I really think that I just went to all of these in sequence. Hmm. Yes, this is the first one that I went to because- What's the star next to the three? I'm pretty sure that just means that it has a unit leader. Mm. Are you getting experience from this? Yeah. Okay. I think I just leveled up, actually. Points for that. Points for that, certainly. At the very least, you are getting experience having to trudge through this area. Although I think that there are probably more fun ways to get experience than having to backtrack. I was playing the game normally. Yeah. What I'm worried about at this very moment is I'm suddenly worried that maybe it's unmarked. Maybe uh. I was in the right map. I was sort of expecting... Ada to warn me, like she normally does whenever I've successfully entered the correct area. Mm. I'm going to share a secret with internet now. Before we started recording today, well actually, I guess technically we we were recording it, but we didn't make it a part of this episode. Mm -hmm. We already did a world tour 
once today to find the Raptor control module. Mm -hmm. And then after we found it, we went back to where we needed to apply it just because we thought it was sort of a boring retread. Yeah. And here we are having a slightly boring retread. Oh. Okay, do you want to look around for this and then come back tomorrow? I think I might want to look it up on good old game FAQs because Ooh, this is that's serious. Yeah, this is um we don't use that that often, do we? I use it all the time. Well, like, I mean, like in my day-to-day -day life, but on the, the show, show, no. Yeah. No. I think I can count Count the times, probably on one hand. Some fact checking in Resident Evil for fact checking. Bale uses it pretty often for names and stuff. Yeah, but not while we're recording. Yeah, no, not not while we're recording. Not for the game. Frequently asks questions. It's the the show fact checking. Ah, forget it. Ah, go, go, this is dumb. Go to a different episode. Dude, dude. Go to the next one. Next one, everybody. What are you still doing here?